eight that no one knew we needed. You might have seen the simulations, the memes by now. One gorilla, 100 men. Who would win in a fight? The internet has a lot to say. Gorillas aren't built for long fights. They're like sprinters. They explode for about a minute and then they gas out hard. Man, I'm taking that gorilla. Do, man, do people know how big them silverback gorillas are? Surround it, distract it, get on it, you know what I mean? How are you gonna kill it? I haven't heard one logical response or explanation because obviously no tools are allowed. If we have a hundred men out there who are willing to die, give me the men. A hundred men versus a silverback gorilla. I want to see a hundred men versus a critical thought. <laughs> okay, uh, here's what's not a critical thought. Let's let's visualize this for a little bit. Uh, we're talking about a 400-pound animal that can grow up to six feet tall. According to the experts, the average silverback gorilla weighs uh, somewhere between five to ten times, or is actually five to ten times stronger than us humans. Uh, and just like a lot of you are guilty of out there, mostly guys, we have spent way too much time today thinking about all of this to the point that we actually created a very unofficial stay tuned now poll at work with like 63 to 38 percent split amongst our team 63 percent going to the gorilla but what do the experts say our next guest has over two decades of experience studying and researching gorillas uh thank you so much for indulging with us here uh dr uh, tara stoinski uh, yeah i know this is a weird conversation and i i you know I want to say that this is um, this is a dumb conversation, and I'm hoping we can talk about way more pressing matters in a second. But can you just settle this for us real quick? Like, if a hundred normal, unarmed guys got into a fight with one gorilla, how would it go? Well, it's a very interesting question, and it's been super fun to see how much it has engaged people on the internet. I talk about gorillas all day long, so I love that other people are talking about them as well. Um, I don't think there's a definitive answer, but I have to say that that I would be on the side of the humans in this case. Um, mm -hmm. Gorillas come to this with you know a ton of power, all that upper body strength. You can see them here kind of just smashing people right and left. They've got incredible jaw strength. But I think the sheer number of humans that they would be up against and the fact that humans could hopefully coordinate their behavior, tag team, take a little bit of a rest while the gorilla would just be going full steam the whole time would really put the advantage in, in, in for the humans. Yeah, I mean, like the, the fact that we can all communicate and I guess kind of critically think would give the advantage to the humans. And also, like, if I was in that fight and I was one of those guys and I saw somebody get mauled, I would probably run the other way, which would give the advantage to the, uh, to the gorilla there. But jokes aside, like, I don't know. You, we have fun thinking about this, or if guys do for some reason. Um, and yet the saddest part of all this is when you think about man versus gorilla and, like, what's already gone wrong with gorillas being so endangered and how that's happened uh, historically. Like, if these hypothetical men decided to go to therapy instead of fighting gorillas, what kind of world do you think we might uh, <laughs> share now with gorillas? <laughs> Yeah, that's a really great point. I think the fight that we're talking about here is a little bit misguided because really gorillas are in a fight and they're in a fight for their survival. So they are considered critically endangered in the wild. So the next level after that is extinction in the wild. Um, so definitely the fight that they're in is for their for their survival on the planet. And you know what I'm really hoping is, I love seeing how engaged people are about gorillas. I mean, they've played a big part in our mythology and our movies. People are clearly fascinated by them, which is wonderful. And so taking that fascination and maybe turning it into action for gorillas so that they have a future on the planet, you know, is a great outcome potentially of this conversation. Dr. Tara Stoinski, thank you so very much for that perspective, uh, and hopefully we can get along with our, our hairy cousins there. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.